nami Tunga ne twache kuzo zana East African music star Eric Wainaina may only be in his 30s, but he's earning the respect of giants. Zimbabwean music legend Oliver Mtukutsi linked up with the young Kenyan to perform Twende Twende. The song proves that while Eric Wainaina writes about the wrongs of the continent, he still believes there is much that is right. Twende means, in Kiswahili, means let's go, you know. Um, and I think uh, a lot of artists right, right now talk about an African renaissance. With sort of the, the advent of, of new democracy as well, I mean, we still have our, our teething problems with our, with our current governments. Uh, but it's all about um, the artists finding their voice and, uh, and, and putting, in, putting into words and, and pictures sort of the, what, what we hear a lot of people also talking about, you know. And so in a sense, we are A, um, guiding sort of, uh, sort of our thought as, as, as a continent, as, as, as a nation, but also responding to, to what we see and hear. So the song sort of goes like this. Kudanami in my limited Kiswahili, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what, what for me the song is as a listener mm -hmm. is, you know, we're making as a continent progress, exactly. but it's kind of slowly, slowly, yes, yes, yes. and it needs to go faster, but, you know, things are going well. I things mean, are going well. Let's be positive. Let's take strength in each other's strength, you know, and, and let's move, let's, let's uh, there's been a lot of injustices in the past, but we need to sort of embrace them and move on. You have a body Why is it important to, to sing, to celebrate the continent? Well, if, if there's one thing we are as a people, and I, and I think it's probably the same for everyone around the world, we're, we're resilient people, you know, um, and I think there's been a lot sort of said wrong, that, 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 that's not entirely accurate about, about Africa. I think that um, as, as a people, we are, we, we are ready to work, we are ready to, to, to be educated, we are ready to do a lot. Um, I think what, and I'm, I mentioned this to you before, is one of the things that's missing most is the opportunity, you know? Give most Africans an opportunity to to study, uh, to advance themselves, and they'll, they'll embrace it with both hands. Okay, five, six. Eric Wainaina takes that philosophy to heart. With just days to finish his latest album, we found this pop star doing some unusual things. Music instruction on the continent often takes a back seat, if it takes a seat at all. Wainaina often collaborates with musicians with no formal training, so he is working on changing that trend. He spends weekends at the prestigious Brookhouse School in Nairobi, where he is starting a music institute. Wainaina's own formal training has helped him create a viable business model in a competitive field. So you can always find him composing. Next voice. <laughs> Scoring a multi-part animated series for children that will air internationally. The series brings to life African folk tales, bringing an independent spirit to the corporate world of music. That's a whole other story. <laughs> and next. It's not right. It's not right. Major labels could finally come knocking. It's not right. It's not right. You released a number of albums as a solo artist, uh, musician. Uh, would you like to be signed by a major label? Uh, do you want to be immediately? Is it something you aim for in the future? <laughs> Well, uh, that's a good question. Um, on different days, different things. 
if you'd asked me that sort of two or three years ago, I'd have definitely said, no way. I have no intention of being signed on to a major, you know. Um, uh, because the internet has made it possible for artists to sort of have a grassroots um, sort of marketing strategy that allows them to sell 20,000, 30,000 units or more and keep 75% of, 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 uh, of gross receipts. Whereby, if you sign on to a major, you might be selling a million copies, but you're only keeping six or seven percent. And so the, the question is, you know, so what's better? Um, but I mean, we run our company for a while, and uh, we know the difficulty that goes, sort of the, the inherent sort of difficulties in marketing oneself. Um, and I think that I, 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 being signed on to a major would, would actually help us take a lot of the load off our shoulders. Take the corner after my jokes. We're speaking to you right when you're in the last few days of, of finishing up, a, send, sending this final mix of this album off. I mean, what are your feelings right now? Are you excited? Are you I, scared? I generally get excited before, before uh, we put out a record, but I'm, I'm more excited about this record than I have been before. I hope that this album will open some doors for me, um, locally, regionally, internationally. How big is that? <laughs> Um, but um, it definitely sort of open, open, my, open my music to new markets. I think that, that the future for this record is, is, is bright. A bright future that through hard work and talent, not destiny, has made Eric Wainaina Kenya's poet and one to watch for the future of African music, finding lyrics and music in the ups and downs of the continent. How'd you lead the march when it just rains on you? When those who finish are half those who start, it rains on you. When no one believes in victory, it just rains on you. It rained on me, it rained on you. March on. <laughs> Ninalia, who